So in this video, we're gonna be talking about things such as timeline and Gantt chart views, how to create a custom template board. So if you ever have projects that are redundant, you're not spending a lot of time setting up those projects the second time around. And we're also gonna be looking at how to set up your dashboard so you have a command center and feel in control of all the projects happening within your company. So without further ado, let's get to the review. All right, so now we're inside of Monday and this is what it's gonna look like when you're on the Monday homepage here. And I'm gonna expand this so we can see this easily. Uh, and then what we're gonna focus on mostly in this is your workspaces. So currently the, our, uh, the workspaces are empty, but for you, if you selected a template when you got set up, when they're asking you those questions specific to why you're using Monday, you may already have a template set up here, but I wanted to create this so that you could see how this works when you have to create new boards and dashboards in the future. So right now we're gonna start with a board and we'll get to a dashboard in a little bit. So this specific one, I'm gonna say a website project and I'm gonna make this projects here. And if you are curious, the reason that I made this a website project is I used to work at an advertising agency and I'd have to help project manage a website project, which was kind of a pain in the butt because you have designers, developers, copywriters, all sorts of different people working in different departments or freelancers that you have to kind of get together on a project that's supposed to take two months, which it rarely did. All right, let's get back to this website project here. So the first thing that I would recommend is understanding what the layout is here. So now that we're kind of done with this uh, navigation panel right here, if you close, you can close it by clicking here and you can open it back up. But I like to try to minimize as much stuff so my focus is on the task at hand. Now, the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna set up your columns to what you want in your particular situation. Now, understanding what this layout is, there's group titles, there's items, and then there's sub items, which we'll get to in a little bit. And then you have another group over here, and then you have your columns. Now, from watching a monday.com tutorial, uh, one of the things that I saw they did that I liked is that you can set up one group title as uh, website to-dos, and then this one might be finished items. And I'm gonna delete these ones out easily. So the finished items now is empty. And then if you go up here, what I'm gonna do, instead of this being person, and the reason it's labeled person is if you add another column, it just says people. So that's what it has. I'm gonna put in requester. And then I'm also gonna put in another people, and I'm gonna call this one owner. And this will make sense as we get through this, but I'm sure you can see where this is going. And then the date i'm going to make this the due date and then i also want to add a timeline and timeline is going to be very helpful for a couple different reasons especially getting to gantt charts which we're going to talk about and then also being able to look at a view of like well how busy are these different employees freelancers uh, are they able to take on any more items right now as far as the status goes if you click on it or hover over here you can kind of see it starts to peel which is nice so if you want to add or edit any labels you can do that here and you can make these color coded to whatever you want to make them uh, but i'm just going to stick on uh, stick with this for now so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill out some items here very quickly so i don't have to bore you with this uh, but we're just going to get a few tasks that we're going to have as far as these items go so at this point, you can see that I've added some to-dos here. And in this particular case, if I'm project managing this, I'm just gonna make myself the requester on all of these. This is always good just so you know who's like the point person on a specific project. But for create site colors, well, this is gonna be designer dude, logo concepts, designer dude, set up hosting is dev chica, and then going down the list. So this is where you can kind of start seeing that maybe some of these statuses don't make sense because they don't need to launch the test site until it's ready. So they're not technically stuck. So this is one where I might add and edit labels. So I'm just adding some other uh, labels in here. I'm gonna make this one uh, waiting. And that's just, you know, obvious, like somebody's waiting on a specific project. And then I'm gonna click apply here. Okay, so for due date, this one's pretty obvious and this is gonna depend on your project, but I'm just gonna throw some due dates in here and I'm gonna do that real fast. Now for the timeline, let's throw these in really fast as well because again, this is gonna come up later in the video. Now, if you wanna humor me for a second, I've been getting into drawing and this is a comic that I made that is of my experience and I titled it, I'm Creative. So if you wanna pause it and go back and look at that comic, you can, but you'll see that character showing up during this video. So a quick tip here is if you are creating your first board here and you think it's gonna be something that you're gonna use quite a bit, well, you wanna make this into a template. So again, if you have this closed, you can open this up and we're gonna click this right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate the board. And this is kind of cool that they did this. What you can do is the structure only, structure and items, or structure items and updates. 
So the updates to me doesn't matter as much, but I want structure and items. I'm gonna duplicate this board here. And here you can see that everything is put in right here. And then what I'd have to do is if I had the same project again, is I just need to change out the owners of it and then also the dates and the statuses and whatnot. So let's go back to the website project. One of the other things you should be aware of is you can easily move any of these things wherever you want to do. If you want this sorted by the due date, because you can see that we have different due dates on here, what you can do is drop right here and you can sort column, sort column. So now it is in chronological order of when things are due. Uh, and then this is very easy to go through and be able to figure out. Now, as far as starting a conversation, in each one of these things, if you wanna start a conversation, I can write, you know, uh, looking forward to, so this is nice because now you can see this has been added to the conversation and this is, works kind of like an email thread so that you can see all the communication that is within that specific thread on that specific item. So this is really, really helpful to do these conversations inside of this platform and not in email. And the reason I say that is after I left the creative agency I was working at, I ended up working for a company as a marketing director and I worked with an agency and they did too many things over email and my project manager left. And then when the person that came in after her, he had no idea what was going on, no idea how to see any communication from previous emails. So you wanna have everything in a conversation so somebody can get up to speed if they're coming into the project midway through. So a really important feature that is in beta right now is uh, you can do what's called sub items. So let's say you're on provide homepage images, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna add a sub item here and I don't know, maybe, you know, we'll just do this for example uh, sake. We have the hero image and then we also have uh, the um, by chart image, etc. So again, if you want, you could do the whole thing with requester, owner, status, due date, all of that. But in this particular one, I'm just gonna make the owner and I'm just gonna put in design dude and then I'm gonna let him put the status in here. And then I'm gonna make the due dates on these the same as this one right here. Uh, but if you had something that had to come in as sub items at different due dates, you can do that. And then you can add all these different items as far as for these sub items as well. So if designer dude comes in, he'll be able to tell that there are sub items pretty quick because even if this is collapsed, he's gonna see that there are sub items right here. So things like this are gonna become more apparent the more you use the tool and you get used to it. And then of course, you might wanna just kinda make that a little bit bigger so you can read everything fine and eat into some of this space over here. So now if you were to just be logging in and you wanna kinda get a snapshot of what's going on here, one of the things you can do is you can just filter by person. So I wanna see what the dev chica is up to. Okay, she has two projects and she's stuck. Another nice thing is if you have a more advanced board that you're working on, you can filter by the specific column. So I could do it, you know, based on status. And then I could say is stuck. Okay, so here I can see everyone that says right now I'm stuck. So what does this person need to be able to get their job done? Anytime you're in one of these, you just click back on it and you can click X to be able to see everything once again. Now, why don't we take a look at what we called a dashboard earlier. So if you recall, if you click over here and click a new dashboard, what a uh, dashboard is, is if you're coming in, it's like your command center. So in this particular case, you know, you got your battery, uh, calendar chart, anything that you want right here. So I wanna see a Gantt chart and see what that looks like. So what I wanna do is click on boards up here and I'm gonna click the website project here and I'm gonna click done. And what this is gonna allow me to do is be able to see a visual layout of what this project looks like from start to finish. And I don't know about you, but I love the fact that you can customize this and be able to drag and pull it in any way that you want. So now what you can do also is if you go over here and you click and you drag, and then you go like this, every single time that you would come into your workspaces, the first thing I would see is a visual layout showing me of when things are starting, where they're at, and how this is going to get launched. So this is really, really helpful because what they found with research is about 65% of people are visual learners. So people like to be able to see things visually and laid out just like this when you're looking at a particular project because this is really easy to visualize what's happening right now, what's coming down the pipe, and then what kind of things might create roadblocks down in the future. So having a dashboard like this is super helpful. Now, of course, if you wanna add a, another dashboard, I know that we have this duplicate web Website project, I can do this. So what we're seeing here is essentially a duplicate of this, but now what you could see in this one widget here is two Gantt charts 
showing a couple different projects and imagining that this one wasn't a duplicate of the one above it. And you can just easily visualize like all the chaos that happens as a project manager of what you're trying to get done. So if you wanna make this a little bit smaller, we can do that. And then there's a bunch of different widgets that you can add on here. Uh, numbers, uh, you can get a quick view on all your number columns. So let's explore what the charts look like. So this is pretty cool because what you can see here is just kind of like a visualization of how everything's going. And you can see that, you know what? We have people that are more so waiting on projects and are stuck than anything that's done or working on it. So, so really cool to be able to get this vibe of what's going on with the project right in your dashboard here. So why don't we take a moment to talk about integrations and apps. So right here, you have the apps. This is newer. These are apps by Monday. Um, really cool that they do this because you can do stuff like such as um, embedded data studio. Now, if you're not familiar with Google data studio, that's just kind of like an enhanced version of Google analytics. But if you already have that, you can import this right into your dashboard. So you can see all of your main metrics from your website or whatever you're tracking with, with your analytics. Now, if you want to take a look down here as well, you can see that there's apps over here on the uh, sidebar here. So going through this, there's a bunch of different apps on here and you know, you can like go with Hootsuite if you're doing social media or SEM Rush if you're doing SEO. So this is cool. Like let's say that you have Typeform and if you're not familiar, Typeform is like Google Forms where you can build custom forms and you could create a form that is used internally in your company and then you can have it integrate into your CRM with monday.com. And it may be something as simple as a suggestion box, but you can have that set up so that it goes into Monday and it automatically will filter to the correct person that's in charge of the suggestion box. And then you can see the list of the suggestions to see if they have actually been considered or implemented within a board. So another nice feature over here too is one that's called My Week. Now for me, this is not gonna show up anything right now, but if we go back to our workspace and we go to the website project, now let's say that this particular project here is actually due much earlier, it's due on the 23rd. So if we go back to My Week, since this updates in live time, you can see my upcoming provide homepage copy. So from an individual standpoint, this is super helpful for you to be able to see your week laid out just in this one view. Now, something that you should be aware of is that there is an app for Monday and it has great ratings. I believe it was like 4.7 stars out of five on the app store. And I'm gonna open that up because I want you to be able to see what you can see from this app as well. So I'm recording my screen. I'm gonna be putting this up on the screen for you as well. And if I click on the hamburger icon in the upper left, that's where I can go and see the same thing. And I can see my week and I can see that upcoming, I have to provide homepage copy. So this is a really nice way to be able to see something on your phone. For a lot of the team members that you're working with, they're really gonna be able to appreciate seeing this right on their phone because they might be getting ready for the next day and say, okay, that's right, I need to make sure that I'm getting my ducks in a row for tomorrow because I gotta get homepage copy done. The other thing I wanted to make you aware of was the help section. So in the lower left-hand corner here, on the help center here, uh, this is where you can actually sign up for webinars. These are not like re pre-recorded webinars. These are actually webinars that you can join in on every week and get a basic walkthrough, intermediate walkthrough in advance. And these are really helpful there as well. Now, if you don't feel like kind of learning this entire tool yourself and you're just trying to get it set up, but then you need some help, uh, one thing that I would recommend is if you go to fiverr.com, which you're probably familiar with, um, you can put in here Monday. And this is pretty cool because you can get people that will do consults with you. I'll set up an automate Monday CRM. I'll set up Monday workspace. And you can see these people have 148 reviews, five stars. I'll set up a Monday project management platform for you. So starting at 25 bucks, if you take a look uh, down here, uh, I'm sure they have a little bit you know, higher pricing. Uh, if you need five boards set up, 50 bucks. But the cool thing about this is you might be able to find a freelancer that you can pull in to be your project manager and be able to try them out for 25, 50 bucks to get started. So I'm gonna interject real quick and let you know that I'm interested in taking a drawing class because these are pretty pitiful and you can help support me in that by using my links in the description below. So I will have links to all the resources mentioned in this video, same price to you, they are affiliate links, but you can help support me for making this content as well and I truly appreciate it. So let's get back to the review. So I wanted to cover really quickly the pricing in here and how you're gonna be elevated into different packages based on everything that we just saw. Uh, the individual that you see here, that is free forever, but it's only up to two seats. So in this particular example, we had three people on the project. So we would be bumped into the basic from that. 
And if you recall, we had the timeline Gantt chart views that were in the dashboard. Well, with that, you're gonna have to be in the standard package to see those. And then if you're gonna be bumped up from there, it's typically based on if you have a lot of integrations, automations that are going on. One of the things that I love is efficiency and saving time. That's why project management tools like this are great because they allow you to be more efficient in the work you do. One of them I already mentioned is if you haven't gotten set up with Monday yet, I have a link in the description below, which will save you a few seconds by using my link. And I appreciate you supporting my channel. But the second is on the screen here is more of an intermediate tutorial for Monday. And in that one, I'm gonna be getting into integrations and automations. The automations, of course, are great at saving time and being more efficient with what you're doing on the platform. All right, guys, thanks for using my links and I'll catch you in the next video.